Ramirez. I am a student at Avesta University and I study the kidneys. And I'm Danny Youngblood. I'm a student at Augusta University studying the eyes. And today we're going to talk to you more about the kidneys, my subject. Yay! But wait a minute. Let's back up a little bit. You may be wondering, what is a kidney? And that's okay to not know. I didn't know at one point, so let's learn. In your classes, you may have learned that we have organs in our bodies that all do very important jobs, just like you when you're doing your homework or your chores. How do you get the energy to do these chores and homework? It's from the foods that you eat. The foods that we eat contain nutrients. One of those nutrients is protein. You get this from eating things like meat, eggs, and beans, and they help you give energy to do your very important jobs and to grow. Blood vessels soak up all the nutrients from the foods that we eat, and like a big highway, they transport it to all the organs in our bodies. That way they can keep doing their jobs. Our bodies also need to get rid of waste. And that also goes into the blood vessels. The problem is that both the proteins and other nutrients and the waste are all mixed up in your blood vessels and the blood vessels just don't know what to do with them. This is where our kidneys come in. We have two of them. Each one is about the size of your fist and sit on your lower back. Their job is to separate the nutrients, like the proteins, from the waste, and that waste gets taken out as urine. So let's take a little closer look at the kidney. This is what the kidney looks like on the inside. And if we zoom in, this is the star of the show. This is called the glomerulus, and it's what separates the proteins from the waste. It acts like a net and it keeps in all the proteins and then all the waste gets through. So now that we know how important our kidneys are, it's important to protect them. If we keep them healthy, they will keep doing their job well. There are some people who have diseases that affect their kidneys and their kidneys can no longer do their job and separate those proteins from the bad waste and everything gets lost in the waste. Now that we learned a little bit more about the kidney, let's do some experiments. Let's do an experiment to understand better how the kidneys work. All you'll need is two cups, a jar of water, red and yellow food coloring, beads, two coffee filters, and scissors. First, let's add a drop of red food coloring to the water. This will be like blood. Swirl it around a little bit. And next we'll add some beads. These will represent our proteins. These carry nutrients throughout our body, including oxygen. We'll add a few more for good measure. Next, we're gonna use these coffee filters like they're our kidneys. This is gonna be our healthy kidney. And this is gonna be a sick kidney. Earlier, we cut holes in it, and that's why you'll need the scissors. Let's add just a little bit of yellow food coloring. Now, let's add the blood to our healthy kidney. The healthy kidney filters out all the bad waste, the pee, and keeps in all the proteins, all the good nutrients that your body needs. Meanwhile, our diseased kidney, our sick kidney, it doesn't filter the blood quite as well. Both proteins and waste go into the urine this time. The kidney doesn't keep the proteins like it should. 
Now that we know how the kidneys work, Lindsay's going to show us how we tell a sick kidney from a healthy kidney in labs. Now while we could do this experiment at home with things that we get from the grocery store, Lindsay's going to have to use some special science supplies that we only have in lab. I study the kidney and one thing that we have to know here in our lab is which kidney is sick and which kidney is healthy. So I want to show you this test that we do in lab to show that. All right, so here I have my plate. This is where I'm going to put the urine and the dye. This is a stand just to help me see better. So what we need for this are different urine samples that I have here on ice. And also this is the special dye that we use. So we'll use that later. So first, what I'm going to do is take each sample and spin it with this special machine. And because I need a teeny tiny amount, I'm going to use this thing called a pipette. So we have a different little cap for each of the samples. I see that's all that I need. So the urine is all in. I know this doesn't look like much right now, but it'll change colors with the dye. So I'm gonna put this back here so we can see the colors. And I'm gonna use another special thing to put the, the dye in. So I'm gonna mix that first. And now we'll see that the very light color is the healthy kidney, and the very dark blue color is the sick kidney. So let's see if we can tell them apart. So I accidentally messed up here. I forgot I didn't have any urine in there, but that's what happens in science, and we just deal with it. So remember that the light brown color is a healthy kidney and a dark blue color is a sick kidney. So which one of these do you think is a healthy kidney and a sick kidney? So if you said this one is the healthy kidney, you're right. It's really light brown. So that means there are no or little proteins in there. And this is the really sick kidney, these one and two, because they're very dark blue and they have a lot of protein in there. But how can we keep our kidneys from getting sick? We're gonna talk about a few ways to keep our kidneys happy and healthy. The first way we can help our kidneys is by not eating too much sugar. Now I know I love cookies and cake and candy and ice cream and all sorts of sweets, but too much isn't good for me or for my kidneys. So instead, when I want something sweet, I should try eating more fruit like apples and oranges and strawberries. They taste really good and they're also really good for me. The next thing we can do to keep our kidneys healthy is not eat too much salt. While some salt is good for our bodies, too much can hurt our kidneys. Unfortunately, a lot of the processed foods that we buy at the store or at the restaurant have a lot of salt in them. So although it's okay to eat some potato chips every once in a while, it's also a good idea to eat some veggie snacks like carrots and celery. They taste really good too. And instead of eating too much fast food, we can try to make homemade meals. You can make some homemade pizza with your family. The next thing we should do is drink plenty of water. Remember how we talked about the nutrients going through our bodies through the blood vessels? When we don't have enough water in our bodies, the nutrients can't travel through the blood vessels properly. 
Think of a water slide. Have you ever tried to slide down a water slide without the water? You can't, your legs get stuck. The same thing happens with the nutrients traveling through your blood vessels. They need water to slide down. Now, when I say drink plenty of fluids, I don't mean sodas. Although they taste really good, they have too much sugar in them. So although you can have one every once in a while, be sure to drink a lot more water than soda. The last thing we can do to help our kidneys is to exercise. Now this may be running around in your yard, dancing, jumping on a trampoline, riding your bike, or doing the hula hoop. All of these ways are good ways to exercise. And no matter how you exercise, make sure to get a few minutes of activity each day, preferably 30 minutes of exercise. Now you know all about the kidney. See how many friends you can tell about the kidney. Thank you for joining us. Bye.